Okay, everyone, right here, oh, it's one of my, probably my favorite snake ever, honestly. This, of course, is the Southern Copperhead or Eastern Copperhead. Copperheads are probably some of the most feared and misunderstood snakes here in the Eastern US. My goal in today's video is to show you three easy and safe ways to identify copperhead snakes. Let's get started. This is always the hard thing with copperheads, is that they get erratic sometimes. Can you get on my stick? Okay, perfect. Let's bring him into frame. This copperhead is actually a perfect individual to film an identification video with because it is probably the most classically colored and patterned copperhead that maybe I have ever seen. So ID tip number one, if you look at the side of this copperhead, this patterning, to me at least, looks just like Hershey Kisses. And that, I would say, is the easiest and the most effective way to identify a copperhead snake. You look for those Hershey Kiss patterns on the side, and that is guaranteed to tell you that it is a copperhead. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that our copperhead, of course, is also copper in coloration. Now, there is variation among different individuals. They live in different habitats in different geographic ranges, right? Just like our other species of snake. But generally, you can expect to see copperheads with this bronze copper coloration. And my final ID tip for you guys is that you can sometimes use the shape of the head of a copperhead to help you identify it. Now this, I would say, is the least helpful of the three tips I'm giving you, because compared to the other vipers here in the eastern US, our copperheads actually have pretty tame looking heads, but the back of the skull is still noticeably puffier than the neck area, and that of course is because it has those venom glands back there. Now the venom of a copperhead is also relatively non-toxic. So while this is the species that delivers the most venomous snake bites per year in the Eastern US, there are very, very few fatalities from copperheads. In fact, I believe in the last century, there were maybe three to five, all of which were a result of allergic reaction because the venom of a copperhead is not actually potent enough to kill an adult human. That venom is designed specifically for the preferred prey of copperheads, which as adults is small mammals. And it's hemotoxic venom, so it attacks red blood cells, which means that it will cause tissue damage to the impacted area. And you should definitely seek medical attention if you've been bitten by a copperhead, just in case you do have a reaction to it. But compared to the other vipers, this snake has the least medically significant venom. And usually when people are bitten by these, it's either when they're collecting firewood from log piles, that's pretty common, or if you're walking in dense underbrush, either in the morning or in the evening, because that is oftentimes when our copperheads are hunting. Like our other pit vipers, they do have heat sensitive pits between their nostrils and their eyes. And they're using those heat sensitive pits to get kind of a thermal readout of their surroundings. So they're using those mostly to detect rodents and because they can detect the heat of a rodent in complete darkness, they will oftentimes hunt at night to avoid competition from our diurnal snake species. So to avoid getting bitten by a copperhead, I would always recommend being aware of where you're stepping, especially if you're walking in a forested area in the evening during low light conditions during the summer when these are most active. As you can see though, this one was just out basking by our trail. And so you sometimes will see them like that. And in that case, you can identify them easily now using those three tips. That Hershey Kiss pattern, that overall brown or copper coloration, and finally, that kind of puffy back of the head. So hopefully you've learned a little bit more about copperhead snakes and how to identify them in this video. I think they're really beautiful animals and highly misunderstood. And because they fulfill a role as both predator and prey, they are smack dab in the middle of our trophic pyramid really, really important for stability in our ecosystems. Really beautiful, usually very con snakes that I don't think deserve the bad reputation they get. And this individual has been a joy to work with. Really, really glad we were able to encounter this animal in the wild and get it on camera. And so we'll set it down and we'll let it go about its day. Thanks, friend. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. I'll see you on our next adventure. But until then, stay curious and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.